Griffin down the line. Chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got it nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set alight me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as the garrison. Bang then to to plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Like this, all my bulbs are what? Took off his boots and went to the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Drowners, but he managed to escape. We meet again. Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about witches, but I've always known yours to be an honorable guild. So you managed to salvage some goods? Yes, but I await the repair of my wagon. As time passes, my losses grow. Do you need something? I'll let it go half free. Take care. Tracks lead back to the village. Let it rain. Wash the blood from the fields. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. <laughs> We're catching snails! Anyone want to go and jump in puddles? Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds.
claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down. Now follow me. Oh my god. Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. <laughs> 